you've no doubt heard someone say, no one is safe when the legislature is in session. So uh, Representative Chip Campbell, I guess South Dakota is safe now because <laughs> the legislature is not in session. Well, in some respects, that's probably true, but in other, in other respects, what we've done is going to come to pass or has already come to pass, and so you're never safe. Well, and that leads into the question I want to ask you. In your first session in the South Dakota House of Representatives, what do you view as the most tragic thing or the worst thing, the most unfortunate thing that you saw? That's a, that's a really tough question. Uh, I don't know that I can pinpoint a single thing because nothing really comes to mind. There was just so there, much bad. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, generally, the increase in size of state government uh, is, is it. Would you uh, say? If I could nail it down. Some people say to increase government spending, increase the size of government in this economy, in the current world we live in, is inexcusable. Is that a fair statement? I believe that way, and I'm well aware of others who think that uh, government getting into the business of stimulating the economy in whatever way it chooses is the right way. So you're How's that working out for us? Uh, well, I just was en route to the studio, was uh, listening to some statistics on the unemployment slash employment uh, yes. that has just dropped a point to 7.5. You know, I think it's interesting. In South Dakota, the the administration boasts about uh, what a wonderful employment record we have, that we have a lower unemployment record than so many others. But what they don't take into account is many families have had to literally leave the state, move to North Dakota to find work. So right. they don't count those uh, except to say it reduces the unemployment because people can always move to another state to find work. True. And I disagree with any employment number I've heard that isn't up in the 20 to 25 percent range. I think and that's, I have no yes. statistics to back that up. It's, it's a feeling. And well, and I don't live on feelings, uh, but... Uh, Chip, I think uh, the, the accurate statistics would bear out what you're saying. I that think so. unemployment is certainly in double digits. And of course, a lot of that depends on what state you live in. You look at uh, North Dakota, employment statistics and they're wildly serene. <laughs> yes, and you know, isn't it interesting that uh, in North Dakota, oil is obviously a huge part of that equation. And in South Dakota, we have a new uh, well being drilled near Wasta and the state, quote, reluctantly issued the permit. What is with that? And just this morning on, I, I hate to use their website as, a, as an example, but their Madville Times and Corey Heidelberger had some- Oh, stop the presses. <laughs> had some <laughs> statistics on uh, sales increases in our northern counties and as cities. As a result of North Dakota's oil Absolutely. Boom. Yes, but the question would remain then, why would South Dakota not have an aggressive policy of uh, development of our natural resources? You must think I have an answer for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always, I'm ever hopeful. <clears throat> uh, what was the question well, again? <laughs> uh, I think it's, it's a fair thing to suggest that South Dakota could be much more aggressive in development of natural resources. I, I somewhat agree. Uh, from, from my standpoint, it appears that nationally we are in a train wreck in the development of any kind of resources. What, what do you uh, mean? Well, where's the pipeline, uh, yeah. first of all? Yeah. Uh, and that oil, we know, eventually will end up in China if, if it isn't used, utilized in the United States. Uh, and the move to build the pipeline from the border of, or the other side of uh, the border in Canada down to wherever the 
end yeah. is right now uh, is stalled because of federal uh, initiatives. I actually or have lack a, of. a solution to that problem, but we're out of time, and so I guess we'll never know what that is. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in.